main use of this device is to confirm the presence or absence of oxygen flowing to the mask by simply looking at it. So in the operating room, uh, anaesthetists don't have to lift the mask off the patient's face and listen to hiss, which is a static check, um, and so they can simply look at the indicator to see that oxygen is or isn't flowing. This indicator can be seen from nine metres away, which is, affords um, healthcare workers the ability to manage these types of airway systems from a distance. You can uh, have a situation of transferring a patient at the end of their anaesthesia uh, to the recovery room where they need oxygen and the oxygen is not flowing correctly. And that's the thing he picked up on, uh, that he didn't want that to happen and yet there wasn't an obvious way to easily check that oxygen was flowing to that face mask. We've been lucky enough to have the first hospital uh, delivery, if you like, of these uh, approved masks. They've all been through all the testing and manufacturing processes which are very, very complex. In this new COVID-19 era, we don't want excess oxygen flowing through a face mask which billows out from the sides and creates what we call plumes. Uh, and if a patient had COVID-19, that plume could contain infectious material. I've been at St Vincent's since I was in med school, so it's basically been my home base since, uh, since I was a young top. Um, and um, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank David Scott and the Department of Anaesthesia and Acute Pain Medicine for the encouragement and support that they've consistently given the Shoreflow 2 team uh, in, in developing this device. Mm -hmm.